Thanks to modern technology, humans have less to do. Machines make our coffee in the morning and clean our dishes. Robots do the vacuuming, mop the floors, and cut our grass hands-free. However, what would it be like if machines drove our cars for us? What if our cars could drive us to work while we read the newspaper or worked on the computer? This may sound like science fiction, but in fact, driveless cars are already on the roads and could soon end up at a dealer near you. Cars today already think for us. GPS navigation systems can give people directions without looking at a map. Sensors built into cars sound an alarm if drivers get too close to a person or another vehicle in their way. Cameras can see for us at night and steer cars around obstacles or things in the way to avoid accidents. By using technological features such as GPS, sensors and cameras together, cars can now park themselves and control drivers when they are about to make a dangerous turn. Now, car companies are building driverless cars that will do all of this and much more. Self-driving cars are also known as driverless cars or autonomous cars. They use many of the same technological features such as Bluetooth and voice recognition to make hands-free driving possible. A prototype, a model or design of something from which other forms are developed has sensors and cameras to give the car a 360 degree eye to sense its full environment. The sensors can see turns, red lights, stop signs, and other cars. Its computer uses GPS and other data to drive the car safely to its destination. All you need to do is tell it where to go and how you want to drive. If you select cautious, it will go more slowly. If you select aggressive, it will drive faster. However, self-driving cars will always adhere to the legal speed limit. According to car manufacturers, hands-free driving has important benefits. For instance, self-driving cars can improve safety. In the United States and Canada, over 90% of car accidents are the result of human error. Drivers can make bad judgments get sleepy and run red lights but robots do not in addition we all know that today people who use their phones while driving cause many accidents in a hands-free car people can text without worrying about hitting another car in addition driverless cars would use less fuel they do not need to be as heavy because they are less likely to crash Although self-driving cars may sound perfect, there are limitations. For example, automated cars cannot anticipate the unexpected like humans can. They might not recognize when a police officer tells traffic to stop or pull off the road. Self-driving cars which are programmed to follow the speed limit may actually cause more accidents on the highway where many drivers go well above the speed limit. Moreover, if an accident does occur, who is to blame? Do you blame the driver? The car? The car manufacturer? Driving laws are written for human drivers, not robots. Therefore, Countries will have to decide who is responsible and write new laws, which won't be easy. In the end, consumers will decide if self-driving cars will become the cars of the future. Some might not want to give up control of the wheel. Others may want driving to be as easy as making coffee. Car manufacturers already believe in the driverless car. Prototype driverless cars have already driven over 200,000 miles accident-free, but only time will tell if consumers believe they should.